So when is good enough not good enough? And when do you need to push a little bit harder to get even better? Listen up and I'll give you my thoughts. Hey everybody, John King with Summit Funding and I am coming to you today with the question of when is good enough good enough and when do you have to push to get a little bit better? And it really comes to why are you trying to improve? It's, if it's simply about living up to your own expectations for yourself, you have to step back and think about it from the position of the person you are serving. So in my case, I think about my clients and my real estate agents. I serve their needs in the home buying and home loan process, and I might have a certain level of expectation to say perfection equals this, and I'm not happy until I achieve perfection. But really, achieving perfection for the sake of my view of perfection is not worth it. I've got to look at it from the perspective of my client and say, what are their expectations? What are they needing? And what is the concept or expectation of perfection in their eyes? And I want to make sure I deliver and hit at that level. That's what's most important. So don't waste a bunch of extra time and energy focusing on hitting perfection in your eyes. Make sure you're hitting perfection in the eyes of those you serve. But here's the other side of the coin. We're going to be in situations where we have to up our game because of our competition. That's what's happening in my industry right now. For the longest time, people have been talking about, hey, I close your loans on time and I close your loans smooth. And guess what? Today, that's just the expectation that is required. And so I may be working really, really hard to make sure I close your loans on time and smooth, but that just isn't good enough anymore. So if you notice, my mission for the, fall, for the upcoming year is to deliver and create a great client experience. That is me taking my expectation of what is good enough and elevating it because I've got to make sure my clients are getting something better from me than they're getting from anybody else. So think about your life. Think about your business. Think about the things that you do for others. Are you delivering at the expectation of what your client needs or are you delivering uh, based on what you think they want and either spending too much or too little on delivering what you need to deliver? If you have any questions about this or anything else, give me a holler. Hope you have a fantastic new year and we'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.